Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in today for your word for the day. It's always great to be sharing with you he here today. You know, for the last few weeks, we've been going through the book of Genesis, and one of the significant individuals through the first part of the book of Genesis is Abraham. And he becomes the, the patriarch of the nation of Israel. And he had his faults, but he trusted in God. And because of that, he was used in a large way by God in a way that has continued to make an impact on history. In today's section of Genesis, chapter 25, verses 1 through 18, and I'm not able to read all of that for you today because we're going to look at some other areas, but I want to encourage you to take some time on your own to go and read that. But in this passage, we're told of the death and passing of Abraham. Now, this is a big deal because he was a key individual, but more than that, I want to highlight what was said about him in those last moments. See, verse 8 says that Abraham breathed his last and died at a good old age, an old man full of years, and he was gathered to his people. And it's positive here, but it doesn't say a lot about him and his life, probably because we've been following his story and all the details into the many chapters leading up to this point. So what I'd like to do is read a few things that were said about him elsewhere in Scripture. So I want to read for you today uh, Hebrews chapter 11 as it talks about Abraham and his legacy. It says this, it says, By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith he went to live in the land of promise, as in a foreign land, living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city that uh, has foundations, whose designer and builder is God. By faith Sarah herself received power to conceive, even when she was past the age, since she considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore from one man, and him as good as dead, were born descendants as many as the stars of heaven, and as many as the innumerable grains of sand on the seashore. See, this, this shares a lot about Abraham and his legacy there. And then Romans chapter 4 also alludes to Abraham, and it says that Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. And there's a lot more we could unpack about the life of Abraham, but instead I want to ask you a question. And that is, what story are you writing in your life? What will be said about you in the days, weeks, months, and years following your death? I hope that, that that isn't a question that you take lightly, but one that sticks with you and haunts you to the point that it affects how you view each and every decision in your life. The truth is, legacy is not something that's built with one big moment and key point, but it's something that happens in the small moments of life. Legacy is built when we're honest, when it seems that we can get away with not being honest. Legacy is built in obedience to God in private moments. Legacy is built when we make difficult decisions with integrity and character. See, Abraham built a legacy of faith and trust in God. And so everywhere he's discussed in the New and Old Testament, his legacy was faith. And the unfortunate thing is that we are all going to die. We can't control that, but we can craft the life that we are living now and live in such a way that we're proud of the stories that will be told about us and the life that we lived. So today, what will your legacy be? Will it be one of faithfulness to God? Will it be a legacy of integrity and truthfulness? Will it be one of serving others as you serve Christ? What story are you writing with your life? I pray that it will be one that is full of life and full of faith to be told for many future generations. Hope you have a great rest of your Thursday here today, Calvary, and I pray that you write a great story. See you next time.